Hey everybody, it is Eric Lucas with GG Homes here in San Diego, your favorite local real estate investor. And I wanted to make a quick video today on a San Diego market update as we head into spring now that March is here. So how's the market looking? Well, it's actually looking pretty strong. And I think some of us are quite surprised by that given what we had started to see in November and December. If you recall, November and December, things were getting a little scary out there. Buyer activity had really started to dry up, and I think a lot of us were wondering if we had hit peak prices and if we were going to start to see a decline. So what's different? Why was the market so skittish in November and December, and why now are buyers buying again and things are looking like full speed ahead? And I think the reason for that is interest rates. You know, if you recall, in November and December, the Fed had started to raise rates, and I think they realized it was a mistake. The stock market started to look a little skittish. People started to be laid off and buyer activity really started to dry up overnight. So perhaps the Fed realized that the economy was not as strong as they thought and has now decided to keep rates low to keep the party going just a little bit while longer. So what can we conclude from all this? Well, I think we can conclude that our economy right now is absolutely dependent on low rates to keep going, and it might not be as strong as the Fed is telling us it is. And I think a lot of us knew that already, but um, I think now there is no more debate on that subject. So the interesting thing of all this is it looks like Bruce Norris's prediction was correct. If you recall, I actually attended an event at the SDCIA where he spoke in December, and at the time he mentioned that he thought we would have six to 12 months to go before we saw a pullback here in California, and he thought prices would actually be higher six to 12 months from that speech he gave in December. And when he said that, my jaw hit the floor, and I think a lot of people in the room, myself included, disagreed with him, because it sure seemed like at the time we had reached the top in San Diego. Now, while Bruce was right with his prediction that it looks like we had a ways to go before we reached the top, his conclusion was that we might have seen that dip in November and December due to a seasonal adjustment. And sure enough, he had a chart to back up the fact that in November and December, prices always dipped a little bit. But I think for those of us on the ground here in San Diego at that time, it sure didn't feel like a seasonal adjustment. It was really due more to affordability and the fact that um, rates had started to rise. So I think while Bruce was maybe correct with his prediction and his timetable for how much time we have left to enjoy peak prices, I think it was due more to um, the dip we saw was due more to rates going up rather than it being a seasonal dip. So um, what does this mean for the future? Well, I guess for now it's full speed ahead. If you're a realtor or an investor, I think we can keep enjoying the fact that we can get uh, pretty good prices for our flips. But in six to 12 months, what's gonna happen? I think a lot of it's gonna depend on interest rates. You know, what happens with interest rates? If rates rise, then I think we might be in trouble. But if the Fed continues to lower rates, then maybe they keep the party going or continue to reinflate the bubble. And the one interesting thing that Bruce had mentioned back at his report in December is while he initially thought we would have a slight pullback in California, in California prices during the next, the next pullback, um, he did mention that if the Fed got kind of silly, he worried that they would actually reinflate the bubble, drive affordability even lower, and when we did have the next pullback, it would be more severe. So I think for all of us, it's going to be real crucial to keep an eye on what the Fed does and what lending does over the next 6 to 12 months. If 6 to 12 months from now they start to raise rates and uh, we start to see a decline in the market, then maybe Bruce is right and we have a, a gentle pullback. But if the Fed lowers rates and continues to lower rates in, in an attempt to make the economy stronger, then uh, maybe we start to see affordability dip even lower and head towards that magical 17 to 15% number that means a bubble is ahead. So um, I guess while we should maybe enjoy the fact that we still have high prices, Let's keep a real close eye on interest rates and let's also keep a real close eye on lending to see if somehow they're able to get lending to ease up again to keep this magical party going again. So anyway, um, again, what does this mean if you're an investor or an agent? I guess for the short run, continue to enjoy the party. But if you are a seller or you've got a client that has a beat up property they want to sell, you might want to get them on the phone and start putting some pressure on them to cash out and cash out now 
while the market still is good because this might be near the end. Uh, as a matter of fact, Bruce's report that he just came out with earlier this year was called On Borrowed Time. So, um, you know, maybe we've only got six to 12 months left to enjoy these, these peak prices. So again, if you've got a fixer property or you've got a client that has a fixer property, it might be time to cash out. And of course, I would love to buy that property if it uh, is a fixer and off market and that seller wants to sell while the selling is good. So again, Eric Lucas with GG Homes here in San Diego. And uh, I guess for the short time, let's enjoy the market while it's hot and realize that uh, as Bruce said, we might be on borrowed time. But for now, the sun is out and spring is here. Take care and until next time.